Congratulations, sir. You have a plane. Is it heavy? Well, you weren't up for very long, so I assume you may have had something. Uh, temperatures. It got exceeded. Oil and the CHT. But uh, uh, overall impression is you've got a winner. I mean, it is. Uh, Flies nice. It's. Um, it's going to be a fun airplane to fly. Nice. It's. Uh, it doesn't feel. It feels light, but not light. Uh, is the sensitivity high? Not too bad. The, the rudder in the air was uh, not twitchy. Okay. So with the air, with the forces on there, just moving it left and right with your toes was uh, just fine. The uh, the ailerons didn't get a chance to analyze fully the forces required, but the forces were not a factor. You weren't moving it thinking, oh, gee, this is heavy or oh, gee, this is uh, twitchy. Nice. Um, pitch, it wants to pitch up a little bit, so uh, you will need a little bit of trim. trim in there. Maybe just a fixed tab. And, uh, you know, that fixed tab. So throughout the power ranges, it seems that it still seemed, need a little bit. It seems a little bit uh, required forward stick in order to uh, keep whatever speed you wanted. Okay. But the force required it at the highest speed I got and the lowest speed I got, which wasn't uh, very much different, uh, wasn't uh, that much different. So a fixed tab might do it across the speed range, depending on what it does at the higher speeds. When you came up on the um, on the, the throttle, where were you, like three-quarter? On takeoff? No, I mean in general. Uh, I, I took off, uh, it got up to 6,100, and then uh, uh, back, is... backed it off to 52 in the climb, and the temperatures just kept creeping up, creeping up, creeping up. And then about 2,000 feet, uh, just kept 5,200 and leveled out, trying to get more airspeed, more flow over the engine. And it didn't make uh, a difference. Took, took some numbers. They still started. They still kept creeping up a little bit on the oil temperature and the uh, CHT. And uh, so at 5200, the oil temperature is getting up to 225 and climbing. Uh, oil pressure is good at 63. The uh, CHTs were 330 each, cl still starting to climb or keeping on climbing. EGT seemed a little bit high, 1476 and 1572. So that's mm -hmm. at 5200. So still running a little lean at 5200. You think it's a lean situation then? The, I think that I think it's lean at uh, there's that mid range between 3,000 and above where it seemed to spike and then come down. Yeah, it didn't do it this time. Huh? It doesn't come down when you go up uh, toward 5,000 in the air, and so the uh, lean condition might be contributing to the high CHT, which in turn might be contributing to the high oil temperature. Yeah, uh, kind of so, tied to each other. So before you do any massive baffling, I would try richening try richening it up, right? Okay. The uh, the rudder moving it back and forth, like I said, was uh, was not a factor. It didn't seem twitchy. The the airflow blows it right back and oh cool. So it wasn't it didn't stay. No, okay. no it doesn't wander at all. Boom, it comes back to center and uh, and it takes very little to move it. But have it, do, I have, do we have a heavy wing at all? Uh, not enough to mention. I, I put I put extremely light. And I have quotation marks uh, for light, and these are double quotation marks, which means extremely light. A tendency to roll right, and that can be a combination of the airspeed prop combination. I was gonna say, maybe. and I never never settle out to a constant cruise, and that's where you'd want it so everything's level. But uh, if the ailerons require trim during any condition, it's not going to be that much, it's going to be a little wedge or a bump air. or something, yeah. whatever. Uh, pitch wanted to pitch up a little bit, y'all. At the speeds I was going, at the uh, it was fairly high RPM 5200, fairly low speed down at 80 knots. And uh, it wanted to go a, a ball and a half to the right, which makes sense because right, you have to yeah. correct it. You don't have enough speed to straighten it out. Left Again, rudder? Uh, just a hair. Yeah. I mean, just a hair of left rudder. Take it off, boom, like say, like a, you go maybe one and a half degrees to the right. I'm not a ball and a half, one and a half degrees. The okay. ball just. Just on the edge of it. It just barely tickles out, right? The uh, took it as slow as 55, and the uh, aft uh, tufts on either side start, start to jump. Start to twirl. And so that's was, around 55 it, is about where we're going to yeah, install. And the aft one was uh, going first, and uh, which means that when we go Through for the here? first, no, all, all the way aft, that one, yeah. Uh, that one was going first, as was this one over here, uh, which means that if we go for a stall without stall strips, we have to be careful that uh, the yeah, tip does go first one. and uh, uh, expect it to, to fall off on one side or the other, which isn't dangerous if you have enough altitude, but uh, based on what I saw approaching stall, that's what it looked like. If the airspeed, so it's not progressing like we'd like it over here. It's right, 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 right. You want it, to, you want it to be dancing all up and down the back, and then break loose at the root first to the tip. So you want to go uh, so after four, root to tip, and stall strips will make these break first, right?
but uh, it might be worth trying without the stall strips, but indications are it might go off on a wing. And um, if like it's I say, slightly uncoordinated, I'm gonna do that. Right. And the, uh, the like I say, slow flight got down to 55, uh, flew the approach at 70. Uh, pitch might be a little bit light, you saw come up a little bit in the it flare. It's kind of hard to sit, see where we were, but yeah. Yeah, yeah. but the, the, the landing gear is in exactly the right position. I mean, oh, cool. it was, it I read was, a book for that. So. It, it, it was touchdown on the mains. You're, you're at the mid range of your CG right now. It was touchdown on the mains, and boom, you just held it there. And, uh, and for, uh, for somebody to get in a plane for the first time and be able to hold it in that position means that the plane is helping. Okay. And uh, the, what's helping is the position of the gear in relation to the plane. And Thanks. It's, it's, you're right in the middle of CG, boom, holds the nose up, just sits there and, and put the nose down when you want. You think we should leave the counterweight where it is for now then? Um, for now, yes, because we haven't fully checked uh, stall area. the stall stabilities, things like that. The, um, uh, so but, you, with the angles of attack you're giving, you don't see any weirdness with the tail? No. You can tell no. Everything seems solid no. back there? No. The, the tail seemed plenty big. Yeah. Uh, it didn't run out of elevator in the flare. We're not at the most forward CG, which would be the most critical. Yeah. Forward heavy, that's where... That's where you're so you trying to hold the nose up, yeah. but I didn't reach full aft stick. Full aft is, you know, yeah. pretty well on my crotch, and it was it was probably there on touchdown, is my guess. And uh, so I don't know. How was the visibility on the flare? Fine. Pretty, pretty fine. high. No, it was yeah. it was fine, and it was uh, and just the feeling that you get flying around. It feels nice and solid. Uh, it feels like uh, it, it'll do what you want it to do. Uh, on takeoff on the first turn out, it might need just a little bit of coordinating with the uh, uh, in the turn where uh, uh, it felt like the tail wanted to fall off a little bit and you might need a little bit rudder to help it to end the turn. Yeah. But, uh, but certainly not, not wandering on the tail. So the tail is big enough to have good directional stability like this. It might be a little bit small to require a little bit more coordination than you to might expect. It initiated into the right. turn. And, yeah. But again, that was at, at slow speed on the climb out as well. So uh, like I say, just that initial impression was, okay, tail's falling off a little bit, kick a little rudder. But it's you know it's 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 not like a uh, it doesn't rattle like an aluminum the engine rattles it makes a lot of noise <laughs> but the plane doesn't rattle there's no leaks like a tube and fabric plane so you're gonna have that nice solid feeling you're gonna have a nice solid feel on the wing and uh, I think you're gonna have good ailerons and good ailerons make a pilot smile <laughs> so I think uh, and I think it's gonna be easy to land so, so we just gotta make it run cooler so well, overall think, like I say I think. I think you have a winner. Nice. And Thank it, you. it'll 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 be uh, uh, as with any prototype. It'll take uh, trial and error, trial and error, trial and error to tweak it, tweak it, tweak it, tweak it, tweak it to get where you want. But from a starting point, it's a very very good, very, very 